Uh, oops, we did a Monster Rancher video nine years after the last bit of Monster Rancher news, and then a week later, there's Monster Rancher news! Ah. Well, the original Monster Rancher games, 1 and 2, are coming to the Nintendo Switch! Ah, uh, my brother and I loved these games as kids. But hey, since they're coming back, in this video we are going to go over every monster in the first two Monster Rancher games and briefly explain them. Mainly their name origins and some design inspiration when applicable. The context you'll need to know is that in Monster Rancher, you ranch monsters. Monsters mix. For instance, here's Swayzo, the Pikachu mascot of the series. Here's Golem. It's a Golem. And here's Rocky Swayzo, which is a Swayzo body with Golem attributes. Or here's Titan, a Golem with Swayzo attributes. Repeat for a load of the monsters, but not every monster breeds with every other monster, but a lot of them do. So there's a lot of monsters to cover. But let's start with the base forms and then get into the mixtures and specials of individual families. And first, of course, it's Suezo. The name Suezo comes from the Arabic word Suez, an area of Egypt containing the famous Suez Canal. Suezos are based on the legendary Eye of Horus, an Egyptian hieroglyph symbolizing the power of enlightenment, especially by way of psychic powers. Suezos are known to possess many types of these psychic powers, you see. They are basically one-tentacled beholders. Dino is named after dinosaurs. Simple, easy, and to the point. It's as generic of a dinosaur as you can get. It's a little T-Rex thing. Similarly simple, Golem is named after the Golem. Wow. In Jewish mythos, golems are typically made of clay or stone or something of that nature, and it's given life. So it's a living rock, living earth. Now tiger is a fun one, and I hate it. When watching the anime as a kid, I always hated tiger because look at it. It's not a tiger. It's a wolf. What gives? Well, I'll tell you, it's a mistranslation. The Japanese word Raiga means the thunder thing, but the localizers just romanized the name wrong instead of properly translating it. Pfft. The 90s were a mistake. Nya is also known as Mew, and either way, it's named after the sound cats make. Nyan is just meow in Japanese, you see. Now, you know that thing with monster races where the male is a big and animalistic thing, it's primitive, and the female is hot and scantily clad? That's Pixie. Yeah, this is a monster that breeds with the other monsters, and it's named Pixie because it's a pixie. Simple as. Also simple, worm is a worm. Looks more like a caterpillar, but there's not much of a difference according to many cultures, like inchworms are worms. They have legs. Gel gets the name gel from the word jelly in reference to their weird jelly-like bodies. Slimes are common monsters in all fantasy media ever, and this is Monster Rancher's equivalent. Hair is just an anthro hair. They are very punchy. However, technically the monster's English name comes from a mistranslation of the name Hamu, or Ham, Ham, because this monster was originally meant to be a hamster-like monster, a generic rodent of sorts. Monol? I... Uh, what? I guess this is a monster. It looks like a mistake. A placeholder graphic. Well, a missing no. But no, it's real. And its name is short for monolith. A large upright stone erected as a monument. Uh, Gali is interesting. The Gali were eunuch priests of the Phrygian goddess Cybele, whose worship was incorporated into the state religious practices of ancient Rome. And about that sun face, Galileo was the dude who was all, Hey, I think the Earth orbits the sun, not the other way around! It's why Solgaleo is also partially named after him. Naga is a Naga, or a Naga. Nagas are Hindu and Buddhist mythical creatures that are part man, part serpent beings, and the female equivalent are Nagini. The are said to be a level of deity and are known for their powerful poison and for their persecution of other living things because they're monsters. Plant is a plant, dragon is a dragon. Magic is magical, but this is either a mistranslation or corruption of majin, which according to Japanese legend are evil spirits or deities. But good to know that there's a male humanoid too, not just a scanty female. Henger. The word henge in Japanese means to transform, thus one who transforms would be a henger. And during World War II, the Japanese mass-produced munitions-grade swords used by officers were known as henger swords and are basically like sabers mixed with cutlasses. This fits in line with the hengers being a mass-produced weapon-like creature. Ape is an ape, looks like a monastery orangutan. Ghost is a ghost, but with a cute magician hat at least. Doodle is a doodle, a simplistic drawing often done with no particular purpose. This is almost as bad as mono. Disc is named disc because it looks like a compact disc or CD. 
the brand new technology of the time. <laughs> There's kids these days that will never interact with one. And those were the base monsters in Monster Rancher 1. So now here are the base monsters they added in Monster Rancher 2. It's Mochi! It's named after the Japanese sweet cake made of pounded rice known as Mochi. They are often served wrapped in cherry blossom leaves and are super squishy and I love the texture. Arrowhead's head has the same point that arrows have. Also, it's a scorpion lobster thing, I guess. Jokers are clown grim reapers, and they are all incredibly edgy, especially after their redesign in later games. They are named after Joker cards in a traditional deck of playing cards. Durahans are based on the Irish legends of the Dolohan a headless knight who rides on a demonic horse. They are basically possessed armor. Centaur is a centaur, a legendary Greek creature said to have the upper body of a man and the lower body of a horse. Jill is a yeti, a yeti that looks like a snow-covered hill. You know how some languages pronounce J's like H's? Yeah, it's that. And on top of that, the name could pull from chill, as in to be cold. Its Japanese name, Jiru or Shiru, is a sort of transliteration of quite a number of English words, like zeal, chill, or seal. And it does have an arctic seal face, kinda. It's said to be intelligent, like seals. Maybe. Uh, well, Phoenix is a phoenix, and Zoom is simply named after their fast speed. Zoom is actually Zoom. They are like little velociraptors, and the Japanese name is just Roadrunner. Zilla may be a reference to Godzilla, whose original Japanese name, Gojira, means gorilla whale. Coincidentally, Zillas in Monster Rancher fit that description almost perfectly with its hairy body with thumbs and whale tail and whale head. Metalner is named that because it is made of shiny, lustrous metal. It could also be a mistranslation of Metal Luna, the homeworld of the aliens from the 1955 movie This Island Earth, or just from Luna, like Lunar, like the Japanese name Metal Runa. Beaklon is a beetle, a Hercules or rhinoceros beetle, in fact, very popular in Japan. The claw in its name is a bit of a mystery. Even in Japanese, its name is Bikoran, which similarly works, a beetle clone. I suppose many insects reproduce via cloning themselves, so it works. Kato is a cat tanuki thing, and Gato is Spanish for cat. It's an old man that smokes cigarettes and drinks a lot of sake. Though in the West, this was censored. Now it drinks olive oil. Hoppers have huge feet and the ability to leap great distances. They are little lemur eye eyes. Racky is designed to look like Chucky from the Child's Play horror movie series. Its Japanese name is Chucky, or Chucky, and as an in-joke in the game, your first Racky is automatically named Charles, which rhymes with Bayarls. Bayarl is a genie, and its name combines the words bad and jar, while also sounding like Yarl, a chief ranking just below the king. Color Pandora may come from the Sucoro Pandora, which in turn comes from the centipede genus Scolopendra. Then, being box shaped, they may reference Pandora's box, a box in Greek myth said to contain many curses. They also look kind of like TVs? Like color TVs? The Baku is a Japanese legend originating from Chinese folklore of a tapir-like animal that can eat the dreams of humans. Think drowsy, but a yokai. And it also looks kind of like Falcor, right? Gabu is garbage. It's a glob. It's goop. It goes bloop. Undyne is based on a water elemental in the alchemical works of Paracelsus, as it has the same name. Nighton is an Ammonite hence the name. Mok is actually a really good name here. There's the Japanese word maku, which means wood, but also mok in English means not authentic or not real. And this guy is a monster, not a tree. It's fake wood. That's so good. And there's only one more base monster, and I hope we finish off with a good one. Duckin is a duck. Though maybe with chicken in there also. Now then, on to the many special and mixed monsters. We start with the Suezo family. Orion is a prominent constellation named after a mythological Greek hunter, and it contains some of the brightest stars in the night sky. Toothy slash clear. Oh. It didn't take long for us to get to the first name change. You see, some of the monsters had their names changed between the first and the second games. When this is the case, we'll put both names on screen like this. So, Gel is named for its clear gel-like body, through which you can see its teeth. So here it's toothy. Woody, furred, is named after its wood and fur coloration. Bloodshot is named after the red eye, which is a characteristic of bloodshot eyes. Noro, purple, named for its color, and the Japanese name, Nor 
Nori Zoll from Nori, the seaweed. Back when it was Noro, it had little webbed ear things that are typical to water monsters and such, but it was later removed when it was renamed to purple. Ray was originally named after the sun's rays that it absorbs, and then its name was changed to green. Melon has melon-like skin. Rocky has rocky-like skin. Horny is named after its horn. Pink eye is an illness nobody appreciates. Also, that's what it is. It's an eye, and it's pink. Fly eye is named for its compound fly-like eye and Looker is our first special Swayzo. Special monsters are just that, they're special. Rather than a Swayzo mixed with something, this is just a special Swayzo. And well, the slang term Looker is used to describe a lady who is very beautiful, but it's a, uh, it's a big ol' eyeball, so it sort of just looks at a lot of things, so it itself is a Looker. Planet. Other than it looking like Earth, it's also from the band Earth, Wind, and Fire's CD, so it's also a pun. Oh yeah, context! In the OG PlayStation games, you could input a music CD into the PlayStation and get certain monsters in the game. How 90s. Beamer is named after the so-called good beam attack stat. Gold Swayzo is gold, silver Swayzo is silver, bronze Swayzo. You wanna take a guess? Take a guess. Birdie is named for its golf ball on a tee like appearance. A birdie is a golfing term for one under par. And Suki Suezo is a man-made Suezo, as signified via its Japanese name, which is written in hiragana. The only one to be written as such. Suki is also a type of pottery, another man-made thing. And making things while being human is daunting at times. It's hard to get started. You don't want to spend forever practicing. You just want to get good in a blink. Well, there's no need to lash out. I think today's sponsor could speed up that practicing. It's Skillshare, which is an online learning platform with thousands of creative courses and lessons taught by experts to help you learn new skills. Feast your eyes upon the variety of skills you can learn. It's quite the spectacle. And there's no eye-grabbing ads, so there's no distraction. My favorite lesson recently was Storytelling 101, Character Conflict, Context, and Craft by Daniel Jose Older. It really helped me out in my creative writing as we're working on more fake mon stuff. And they're adding new lessons constantly, and I've got a deal for you. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a free trial of their premium membership, so you can explore your creativity, get the ball rolling, and see if there's a skill you had no idea you wanted to learn until now. It's worry-free. Thanks again to Skillshare for supporting us, and now let's put eyelid on this and move on to the dinos. Anki is named after the Ankylosaurus, a rocky-skinned dinosaur that is my wife's favorite, but it doesn't look like an Anki at all, though. Liddy is possibly from lightning. Remember, tiger is a mistranslation of the Japanese word rygar, when in actuality the Japanese word Raiga means the Thunder Fang. They just romanized it wrong instead of properly translating it, and D here could be from Dino, as in Dino, or the suffix E, which is for formatting patient nouns, denoting the recipient of an action, like a guarantee, a standee, except it's lightning here, it's Liddy. Valentio is a reference to Valentine's Day, mixed with Dino. It's an almost cherub-like dinosaur creature. Shell is named after its hard shell-like body, it gets a buggy exoskeleton after all. Slash is named after after its razor-sharp claws, mustard is named after the color Swayzos are. Mustard. Spot's coloration is that of a dog, and Spot is a very common dog name. Goldie is named after the gold plates on its back. Black Rex is a black T-Rex. Grape is purple, like Nagas. So grape. Aloha is the Hawaiian word for hello and goodbye, and it has Hawaiian-like lei flowers adorning its pattern. Geisha looks like a geisha. Gallop looks like a horse, which gallops. And Smiley? I guess it's smiling. Yeah, yeah, it's smiling. Golem time. Verde is green, when that's the word that means green in Spanish. Titan is also the name of the largest moon orbiting Saturn, and it is bright yellow just like this monster. Also, titans are huge in the mythoses they are from, so it's only fitting giving the size of this lad. Shadow, or black golem, is named after its coloration. Poseidon is named after the Greek god Poseidon, who is also water-themed. Marble, well, today I learned that marble can in fact be purple, so I guess. Maigon is named after the Moai, monolithic human figures carved from rock by the Rapa Nui people on Easter Island. Magma is named after magma, underground molten rock. Sometimes this name is mistranslated to magna, and if you don't believe me, well then here. Magna, a Latin word meaning greater, which could be a reference to its size. There. Whichever translation you prefer, there's the meaning of the name. At least it's not Iceman, named after its icy and manly appearance. It's also known as Big 
Blue as a unique monster in number two. Being Tiger, it's possible that they're pulling from the wolf-like aspect of Tiger. It's a cold weather animal, so icy. Ecologardia. It's from the term ecological guardian, which is also a traditional role given to golems. Bikini. This poser likes to show everyone his great build. Though he's not wearing a bikini, just a swimsuit, but it's based on where it comes from. The CD, The Abbey Road EP, by the Red Hot Chili Peppers, where in the cover, the artists are in similar attire. Amenhotep was an ancient architect who was eventually worshipped as the god of craftsmen and architecture. Pink Golem, or Dean in number one, well, it's pink isn't it? As for Dean, well, its Japanese name is Heavy Diana. I guess Dean is the masculine form of Diana, right? Tyrant. A tyrant is a horrible and oppressive character who is an absolute ruler, unrestrained by law or constitution. So this golem dragon is named in reference to its great power and brutish nature. Stronghorn is named after its strong horn. Gobi is named after the Gobi Desert, which covers parts of Mongolia and West Taiwan. It looks like desert ruins, or desert rocks, you see. Mario Max, uh... <laughs> well, his name is Mario, and he's big to the max. He's just a guy in a suit, like Mario. Scaled Golem is just named after its scales. Battle Rocks, well, these were rocks made for battle, and that's just what they'll do. Dagon was the ancient Mesopotamian god of grain and fish. You typically mill grain with large stones. Sleepyhead just sleeps all the time, according to its description. Pressure, its official description, unable to swim, it lives on the bottom of the ocean, where the pressure is intense. Dao is not from Taoism yin yang stuff, no, it's based off of the genie-like monster from D&D. The Dao, referenced by the fact that it can retreat into the jars it has for legs, like a genie. However, Dao are elemental earth genies, so it's a perfect golem bayaro mix. Astro is from Astronaut. Anglemore comes from Anglemoise. Moi? Anglemoy? Silent S? Yeah, it's a term used by the self-proclaimed French prophet Nostradamus to mean King of Terror fitting for the Joker's edginess. Wood Golem is a golem made of wood, and Forward Golem is named after the forward position in football. Makes sense, because you get this guy by scanning the NFL Blitz PS1 game. It's tiger time! Dento! The word dento means tooth in Esperanto, a reference to its biting ability. A lot of dinosaurs have words meaning teeth in their naming schemes. Toto, or Rockhound, is named after its rocky body. As for Toto, maybe the dog from Wizard of Oz? Or it's named after the Chinese beast Tauti? which can be depicted as a tiger? Yakuto, or Jagged Hound. This comes from a direct romanization of Yakuto, the Japanese spelling of Jagged, the German word for hunting. It's a hunting hound, or it's because of its jagged shell. Jelly is named after its gel subtype, and frost is due to its cooling effect as it turns warmer air cool around it. Mono eye has one eye. Rover, or Harehound, looks like a domesticated dog, and Rover is another very common dog name. And Harehound is just the two species that it kinda is mixed into one name. It's a hound, the old English word for dog. Balon, or Dandelion. Balon could be a mistranslation of Barong a benevolent divine beast in Indonesian mythology that has white fur and is adorned with golden jewelry. And a dandelion is a yellow blossoming weed in reference to this monster's color. The word lion could also be a nod to the fact that this species is called tiger, another large cat. Velvet, terror hound or licorice, is named after its fur and then its scariness. And finally, its color similarity with licorice. Kabalos is another mistranslation, this time of the Japanese word kerubarosu, a reference to Cerberus, the three-headed Greek underworld dog. Leafy, or tropical dog, is named after its leafy tropical hide. Gray Wolf is named after the real animal, the Gray Wolf. You get it by scanning the album Rolling Stones Bridges to Babylon, which features a silver lion colored similarly to this monster in the game. Dayton are super common in the Monster Rancher anime. The name is just an English boy's name without the Y. Dayton, and it means a bright and sunny town, and its fur is very bright and sunny colored. Daytonaire, or Daytonare, is based on its Japanese name, Detonare Kusu, meaning Detorex, or Tooth and Rex, a common name for dinos and dogs. Basically, it just means it's a Dayton dino tiger mix from Monster Rancher 1, but it's different. White Hound, take a guess. Nyaz, 
also known as Muse. Lovely, or Baumu, is named after its cat dog creation. And the fact that both animals are cute and lovely. Mama Nya is named after the fact that it's a cat girl. Nyamix, or Aqua Mew. I mean, it's an aquatic cat, so Aqua Mew. Nyamix could also be a reference to Meow Mix Cat Food, as this game came out around the same time that their marketing campaign exploded just Meow 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 I still remember that! Mini or Eared Nya. It's another mistranslation of its Japanese name, Mimi. Mimi in Japanese means ears, so they later renamed it after its ears. Player is named so because it looks like a baseball player. Teddy is named after the teddy part of a teddy bear, and then later it's bear -nya, named after the bear part of a teddy bear. Karaoke is named after karaoke, the very popular Japanese pastime. Swimmer is simply named after its ability to swim. It also plays water volleyball, a popular Japanese sport, I guess. Now are you ready to see a bunch of scantily clad lady monsters? It's Dixie. Dino and Pixie mix. But also, Dixie is a slang term for the southern US. Plenty of swampy bayous and backwards thinking there. So, green? Vixen is a nickname for spiteful women, but often is used with a sexual undertone. It must have been a little too on the nose, so they changed it. Granity is named after granite, a common type of igneous rock. Mint is named after its mint blue coloration, and then later it's named for its fast aerodynamic flying abilities. Radar is named for her super senses that work like radar. Then Night Flyer is for her moth-like appearance, since moths fly at night with radar. Nymphs come from Greek mythology and are spirits of nature. They are in the form of where they reside, like a pond nymph, wood nymphs, hill nymphs, water nymphs, etc. In Monster Rancher 2 it was changed, likely due to nymphs' more recent sexual connotations. Now it is Nagisa, which is a Japanese word that can mean shore, beach, or water's edge. Vanity is a narcissistic belief in one's own abilities or attractiveness to others. Then Sueko is derived from its subtype, Suezo, replacing the last with ko, a common ending in female Japanese names. Mopsy is the name of one of the three rabbit sisters in the fairy tale story of Peter Rabbit, and Lepus is the scientific name for rabbits and hares. Angel is an angel. Prism. A prism is a transparent optical element with flat, polished surfaces that refract light. Like Necrozma, this thing is a prism of darkness. Like most monol things, it's dark. Then a silhouette is basically an outlined shadow of a person or whatever. Allure is the power to attract or entice. I'm guessing with its body here. Serenity means calmness, peace, and tranquility. Bunny! Well, that's just a bunny girl, or a playboy bunny. Platinum. If you use the CD Like a Virgin by Madonna, you unlock platinum. Madonna was known for her platinum blonde hair, and she wore black, skin-tight outfits during her career as well. She also is a platinum-grade musical artist. Eve is from the story of Adam and Eve, the first man and woman. Oh, and she looks like a cherub because you'd use 1984 by Van Halen to unlock her. The album cover features a small cherub. Dinah is based off of the Roman god goddess Diana, who was a very proud and feministic deity. Unico, spelled Unico in Japanese, this name comes from unicorn because of the single horn on the head, and ko is a common ending for Japanese female names. Jilt. The word jilt means to suddenly reject or abandon a lover, and this monster is known to tease men. Don't most of the pixies? Jane is based on the legend of Jeanne d'Arc. Kitten is a cat, along with slang referring to a woman. Genie is a ginny, or a genie. Futurity is future mixed with itty bitty, meaning small. Snowy is based on the Yuki Ona, a ghost woman of Japanese folklore that appears on snowy nights. Lilim are said to be night spirits, children of Lilith, according to Jewish folklore. Think like a demoness or a succubus. A dryad is a mythological type of fairy or nymph that lives in a tree. Poison. Well, her outfit is based on her Scan Origin CD, the Matrix soundtrack, and thus she may be named after the popular fan theory that the blue pill was in fact just poison. Kasumi. Well, that's just Kasumi, the main character from Tecmo's Dead or Alive series. Can they do that? Oh, yeah they can, they make both games. Mia is obtained from the CD Shania Twain, the woman in me. So if you mix those a bit, Shania in me, Mia. But also Mia is a pet form of the female name Maria. 
which is itself the Latin equivalent of Mary in Hebrew, meaning bitter. It can also mean rebellious or beloved child. Well, I'm glad we're done with the pixies, let's move on. And what monster to better follow a scantily clad anime woman with than a long and wriggly monster worm? It's the worms! Gecko worm looks like a gecko, I guess. And rock worm, it has a shell made of rocks. Drill has drill-like tusks. Red worm is red. And tubby jelly was originally named for its flabby body, then later named for its jelly body. Its name in Japanese is Gurasuwarmu, or glass worm. These things, look at how cool they are! It's the same thing Snom is based on. Eye guy. It's got weird eyeballs that look like eyes. And it's a guy. Or a worm. Coroni. It's a confectionery pastry developed in Japan. It's brown, swirl shaped, and looks like this worm. Mask worm is a worm with a golden mask. Pull is used in the world to pull carts and as such is named pull. It's kind of rude. Uh, so they changed it, and now it's just named after its color. Wingworm sounds like ringworm, which is unfun. But nah, it just has wings, and it's purple. Rainbow or flower is named after its love of rainbows and flowers. Tank looks like army camo, and its armored shell makes me think of tanks. Scaled worm is another monster named after its scales. Imagine if your parents named you after your skin. Express worm. It's an express train, but a worm. Now, gel's names are pretty simple at first. Scales? has scales. Icy is icy. Pink jam is named after the delicious fruit product jam, which can be pink, I guess. Jello is from Jello. I gotta make some Jello later today. I forgot about that. Uh, clay or muddy has the appearance of mud clay. Noble or gill is gilded in gold and white like a noble, which are often seen as wormy by the lessers. And lava slash clay is named after lava and basalt clay. Fencer, or wall mimic's first name, was based on the fact that it could turn into a fence. I'm not kidding. And wall mimic is also based on that, except now it can be more than just fences. It can be stone walls. Jupiter is named after the planet Jupiter, which has a large, ever-present storm known as the Eye. The yellow coloration of the planet and the Eye reference give this gel its name. Papad, or purple gel. Papad is an Indian snack that is often made using flour and jackfruit. It has similar colors and consistency to this treat. Kelp, or chlorogel, or chloro. Kelp is a plant that's gross and slimy, and its second and third names are both corruptions of chlorophyll, the green substance that allows plants to create food. Stripe is named after its jailhouse stripes. You get it with the CD Concert by the Beach Boys, which features the members wearing black and white striped shirts on the album cover. And Sam is based on Uncle Sam, the American Paragon. Even the description states its resemblance to the good old red, white, and blue. Now the hair. Scalar. I swear there's been other monsters named Scalar, right? Well, it has scales. Stoner, which was later changed to Rocky Fur. Uh, it's named after its rocky, stony fur. Pulsar and Pulsecorn are named after the blue hue of a pulsar, and later they added the corn suffix for the horn thing. Or maybe it scorns you. Buster, fairy, is named after the Buster Bunny from Warner Brothers cartoons. Then later, after its pixie subtype, it's a fairy. Fairies often have connotations with woodland creatures, after all. Groucho, or Wild, is named after Groucho Marx, who had really wild eyebrows. Blue fur, jelly, take a guess. Cross eye, four eye, named originally after its crossed eyes, then later for its four eyes which is also a term for people who wear glasses. Prince, the holy blood of Gali, has made this a royal rabbit. Evil hair is evil, and amethyst, or purple hair, is purple, like an amethyst. Good guy, or leaf hair, is named after leaves, and for its good nature. Its official description reads, he is a real justice. Look at his tattoo. Suddenly, all these mistranslations make sense. Sleeves is named as a joke because it lacks sleeves. How rude. Santa is named after Santa Claus, go figure. And Kung Fu hair is named after its Kung Fu aesthetic. Now, I hope you don't mind how many of these are uninspired and uninteresting. Here, I'll make it up to you by doing Monol next. Yeah, the best idea for a monster. It's your wall. It's named after the Jurassic period of our prehistory, well known for its dinosaurs. Obelisk is named after an obelisk, stone pillars typically having a square or rectangular cross section and a pyramid top. They are set up as a monument or landmark. Sponge, or blue sponge, is apparently a good bed in this universe because of its soft, spongy body. Oh, and it's blue. Ropa, rompa, is named after a romper, and ropa is Spanish for clothing. Soboros, a saboro is a crumble topping made of meat used in Japanese cooking. 
cooking. Its Japanese name is actually just Soboro Bento, which is funny to me. It's just box lunch. Ice candy, like rock candy, except ice. Sandy is sandpaper. Groomy or furred wall. Ew. Well, a furred wall would need to be groomed. Messiah, or ivory, is named after the Abrahamic Messiah because of its glorious nature. Later named after ivory, the color that it is, ivory tends to be associated with high value and also naming a brick after Jesus is uh, lacking in taste. Asphar, or asphartum, is interesting. Well, its newer name is just named after asphalt, you know, roads. But it was originally named after the Asfar Settlement, an Israeli settlement created in 1980 in the West Bank. It is also known as Metzad. This is probably due to the fact that one of this monster's attacks looks like the Star of David, a Jewish symbol. New Leaf is named after the saying, turning over a new leaf, meaning new youthful energy. The Japanese name Wakaku Sekensai is literally youth going strong, and also chartreuse. Two-tone has two tones, sky has sky camo, scribble is named after its scribbles, and it's somehow cute, oh no. Eura Wall is also named after Jurassic, as Zoom is dinosaur-like, I guess. And finally, Dominoes, from the popular Domino game, not the pizza place. Though I wouldn't put it past them. Well, I'm glad we can finally move away from... Let's do the strange holy man next, Golly. Lexus is named after its great speed. Lexus is the Japanese car manufacturer under the Toyota company. Funnily enough, its Japanese name is Rekusasu, and googling that just gets me Lexus. But also, Lux is Latin for light. Warrior, or stone mask, is named after the warriors depicted on its cape, and later what it is made of. Sapphire, or fanged mask, is named after the color sapphire, and later the fangs on its body. Body. Pixel or pink mask? Well, it's mixed with pixie, so what do you think? Style or brown mask? Style, I guess, refers to its mustache looking wrinkle. Uh, aqua is short for aquatic, and it's blue. Omen or Suezo mask? Omens are typically for seen. For seen. Also, its description says it's cursed. Galleon, or furred mask. It's a furry! Well, its first name is a combination of galley and lion, and it sounds like galleon, those big old boats. Gara or Galerius. No, not the Naruto character, that one that has the three A's in it. Gara means many things. In Japanese, it can mean pattern, but it can also mean body build or physique, which this extremely defensive monster has. Then, Galarius may be a corruption of glorious mixed with Gali. Shion Mask or Purple Mask, possibly a mistranslation or corruption of its Japanese name, Shion Kamen. Shion coming from the plant Aster Tataricus Shion, which has purple flowers, and Kamen means mask, color, or colorful. It's colorful. Gamer Galley, it's a goalie for hockey specifically. The album art of Quiet Riot's mental health features a man in a hockey mask. It's the CD used to obtain it, obviously. Kuma, that's the Japanese word for bear, but also for ring, and it has kiss makeup because that's how you get it with the Kiss Greatest Hits CD. So maybe it's not a bare face, it's devilish makeup. So Kuma is from Akuma, meaning demon. Milky Way, king of the cosmos. It's named after our galaxy. Scaled mask, wow, scales. Happy mask, it's so happy, it's spooky. It's also from the Backstreet Boys. Now who wants Nagas? Stinger gets a Stinger. Trident gets Trident Claws. Striker is named for its powerful strikes. Boxer or Crimson Eye is named after its fighting style and sharp red eyes. Jungler lives in the jungle. Cyclops is named after the Cyclops, a Greek mythical creature. Lipper or Ripper is improperly translated as Lipper, so it was corrected in Monster Rancher 2, and is named after its ability to rip things. Gaia is the goddess of the earth in Greek mythology, guardian over all its resources. Then when renamed, it became an earth janitor. Cutter has sharp arms that it uses to cut things. Like water. Edgy or edgehog. <laughs> really? Naga the edgehog. Well, it's named after its edgy attitude and claws, later mixing it with hedgehog, which also have sharp claws and quills. Edgehog. <laughs> Bazula or Bazula is a tough cookie here. It's almost a direct transliteration from its Japanese name, Bajira. This name could come from Bazaar, or Bazu, the Japanese word for buzz, and Ra, the sun god of Egypt. There's also the possibility that it's from Hindi, as the Azuras are demons that are typically depicted as snakes or even Nagas. Kari is a shortened version of its Japanese name, Kariban, which may be the word Caribbean, which is around Cuba, and all that has to do with Gloria Estefan, 
the lady it resembles and CD you need to obtain it. She is a Cuban American. Anguish! Well, here's the CD that can be used to unlock Anguish. The Best of the Village People features the members in wacky outfits like usual, but one member appears to be wearing a traditional sailor's uniform, which is similar in design to the Japanese schoolgirl outfit. And this poor Naga must be feeling Anguish right now. <laughs> being forced into that outfit. Time noise! You get this guy by using the Tecmo game Kagero Deception 2, and this monster resembles the character Millennia, who works for the Time Noids, hence the name. Imagine if Pokemon did this. Now we move on to the uniquely named plant family. Shrub, it's a shrub. Rock bush, a rocky bush. Iris, it's an iris, a blue plant. Regal, or gold, is named after its coloration and its regal display. Ash black from its color and ashy complexion. Also an ash is a type of tree, which is a plant. Bad seed, or weed. A bad seed is typically a rotten tomato, bad apple-like person in an otherwise nice family, and a weed is an unwanted plant. Neon glows like neon signs. Bonsai is a bonsai. Scaled plant, oh man, it's got scales, and reggae listens to reggae music. Allerjohn, or queen plant, is named after its pollen, which is an allergen, and later after its royal looks. Spinner, or hair plant, is fast and spins, and then it's just named after its combo. It's a hair and a plant. Wow. Obor, mirage, comes from oboro, the Japanese word that can mean faint or hazy, much like its second name, a mirage, a hazy image on the horizon. Usaba, or fly plant, and usaba is a type of knife used to cut vegetables. But then it was renamed to fly plant because we can't be having any cool names for plant. Hints, or usaba. Oh, Oh, no, I see. They gave this one the name Usaba in the second game, the vegetable knife. And that's why they took it from the other one. Well, its Japanese name is Hinekureso, which can mean looks like a sour stick in the mud kind of person, a contrarian. And it's described as a brat in the game. And it's a bad guy in the anime. Well then, plant's done. Pretty lame. Let's do something cool next. Like dragons. And we start with Jihad. Loxton, out of context. Oh boy, this is pre 9 11, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it is. Well, jihad is an Islamic term with many meanings. It could be simply struggle with oneself against sin, but it can also mean to fight the enemies of Islam, a holy war of sorts. And this guy is a dragon crossed with a golem, so this may be a reference to how golems are a typically Hebrew mythological creature, and Hebrew and Islamic religions are very intertwined historically. Uh, anyway, after a particular 2001 event, uh, jihad started meaning other things, in the western popular headspace, so they renamed it Stone Dragon, because it's made of stone. Gariel is a mistranslation or corruption of Gabriel, the Archangel of God, but mixed more with Gali, uh, and together it sounds a bit like Gariel, which is this animal. Laguna, or Ragnarok, has supposedly ended ancient civilizations. Its name Laguna could be a corruption of lagoon, a salty body of tropical water landlocked and that typically will have foul water at its depths. Evil, you could say. And Ragnarok is the Norse apocalypse. Robo, Techno Dragon, it's a robotic dragon. Apocalypse, Apocalypse. Tiamat is the goddess of chaos in the Mesopotamian religion, and it's associated with a serpent or dragon. Caucasus is a mistranslation of Caucasus, a reference to the Caucasus Mountains, which is the homeland referred to in its description. Or cork, like the tree, which is eaten by many beetles since it's mixed with beeklon. Armor dragon has armor, crab dragon is a crab, hound dragon is just that, uh, ocelot is a corruption of ocelot, uh, dodongo dislikes smoke. This name is a Roman word meaning shield beast, given to the first triceratops skeleton ever discovered. Ghidras could be based on a girder, which are typically metal. Death dragon sorta just looks like a skeleton, and those happen when you die. And lastly, Moo. Uh, Moo is the main antagonist of the anime series, and spends most of it in a merged human monster form. He spends a long time attempting to reclaim his huge dragon body, and he is not a cow. The name is from Mu, the Japanese word for void, and it's also a supposed lost continent. Now the magics. There's all sorts of cool things you can do with generic muscular human, so let's see how creative they got. Zombie is a zombie. We're off to a good start. I found... <laughs> Ah, uh, it's a big fan of Swayzo. That's in its description. It's like if, uh, it's like if the Pokemon fan, the guy that's dressed up as a Charizard, it's like if he was literally a Pokemon. Or like the kid in a Pikachu outfit. Ah, uh, since Swayzo is like the Pikachu equivalent. Uh, anyway, Gangster 
is a gangster and hunts in packs and uses an Uzi. Ardebaran is based on Ardebaran, the first enemy you faced in the Tecmo game Deception Invitation to Darkness. Kaduka is a corruption of the Japanese name Gadyuka and Cobra. Gadyuka is the Japanese word for the Russian word Mamushi, which is snake, like most Naga are, and Kuro, which is an abbreviation of the Japanese name Kuroroman, which is Kuroro and man. Uh, Kuroro is similar to our black and white, or right and wrong saying, which matters a little bit because these monsters have the classic dream of becoming superheroes, but they typically work for Mu, the evil guy. Gerard looks like your typical Japanese gangster delinquent, and you obtain it from Puff Daddy's No Way Out CD. And J-Rod is another rapper. Hengars, it's Omega. There are two Omegas actually, one mixed with Dino and the other mixed with Zoom, which themselves are very similar, but they are different. Either way, it's named after the last letter of the Greek alphabet, used to symbolize both that it's old and that they are the last of their kind. Gia is named after Gaia, goddess of the earth in Greek mythology. Proto is a prefix in the English language, meaning first. Its Japanese name is Proto Messaya, meaning Proto Messiah. Uh, reformer, or black. Uh, reform means to change your ways for the better, and hangars are capable of reforming their body during transformations. The second name is because it's black. Magnet. It's... Garland could be a romanization of the word gallant, meaning brave or heroic. Or it could just be Garland, a French word meaning secure or guarantee. Hiwi is a German name, meaning bright in mind or spirit. It's also the nickname of the Bell UH-1 Iroquois, the helicopter used in the Vietnam War and most pop culture. Endbringer brings the end times, supposedly. Automaton. An automaton is a self-operating machine used in legends from many different countries. And skeleton is a skeleton. Named after skeletons. Apes have skeletons. How's that for a segue? Stone ape has a stony body. George may be named after Curious George, and gibbering means to speak rapidly and unintelligibly, like a monkey. Great ape, or bossy, is named after its leadership skills and its status as a great ape. Pepe, or tropical ape. The name Pepe is a reference to Pepe Le Pew, a famous cartoon skunk created by the Warner Brothers. The connection is because they both emit terrible odors. And then later, it's named after the tropical flower, the Corpse of Mundi, which also also is very bad smelling. Shades. I mean, he's got cool shades. Cutie is based on the pink Spice Girl from the Spice Girls, which also is the CD used to get it. Hotfoot is obtained by Live at the Apollo by James Brown, the very first live album by James Brown and the Famous Flames. And I guess they turned his famous soul patch into a mustache. But anyway, James Brown has an album called Get On The Good Foot and another one called Hot. Combine those, Hot Foot. Gold Dust is named after its gold color and the album you get it from, it just has a picture of a banana as its cover. Uh, there's only two sub-ghosts? Mage and Chef? One's a mage and one's a chef, what the heck? I guess both are known for having big hats. Uh, well neither are mixes either, they're just specials. Huh, well moving on to Doodles, Sketch. A sketch is a rapidly executed freehand drawing that is not usually intended as a finished work. Also, sketchy is something not entirely right, and sketch is Doodle's antagonist. Disrupt likes to disrupt the normal flow of life, and Jacques, the only difference between Jacques and Doodle seems to be the flower growing on its head and its supposed anger issues. I honestly think they just named it Jacques because it's a generic French name and that's funny. I have done so much digging through famous people named Jacques. If you have an idea, please let me know down below. Uh, meanwhile, let's do discs. Goal! That's its name. All the repeated letters and exclamation points included. Uh, it's soccer ball colored. And radial is a word that means arranged like rays that radiate from or converge to a common center. It spins like a disc because it's a wheel. <sighs> well, those were all the base monsters found in Monster Rancher 1. In Monster Rancher 2, they added more, including my favorite, Mochi! So let's do that next. Mana! It's named after mana, the common magical element, and possibly Nana, slang for a mother or grandma. Alternatively, mana was bread that God gave to the Israelites that supposedly fell from heaven, like this creature's design. Draco Mochi! It's a draconic mochi! Night Mochi! Is a knighted mochi! Fake penguin! Alert! This penguin is fake! Alert! Koro. Nya, like, you know, a cat. Nya and Koro from Korokoro, a small round thing that rolls. Hell Piro. 
Pierrot is the stock character of the sad clown in pantomime and commedia dell'arte. From hell! Gelatine. You know, the stuff that makes jello jello. Gelatin is a gelling agent used in foods and pharmaceuticals. Gentle mochi. What a gentleman. Calorina. A calorie ballerina. Mochini. Is just mochi, but with ni at the end. Ni in Japanese can be used to indicate a place towards where someone or something moves, usually preceded by the name of the place and followed by a verb, which indicates a moving action. Mochini is said to be a fast runner, much faster than regular mochi. Must be the pants. And other than mochi, the arrowheads were my favorite. Renault Craft is a craft or vehicle used to drive in the Renault ruins, an area in the game. Pariah Rocks is a mistranslation of plier, a reference to its claws resembling pliers. Plated Arrow is an arrowhead with plate armor. Mustard Arrow. We ran out of poison, so we dipped the arrow in mustard. Selketo. Serket, or Selket, is the Egyptian goddess known to heal poisons and stings, and she was the deification of the scorpion. Logsar. It saws logs, and apparently sawing logs is old slang for snoring very loudly. But this guy is actually made of logs, so it's funny. Especially since you get it with Green Day's Insomniac album. Sumopion! Ah, gross! It's a scorpion and a sumo wrestler mixed. <laughs> well, you get it from a Fat Boy Slim album. Uh, well enough laughing, it's Joker time. Hell Heart is based on the suit of Heart's Knights from Alice in Wonderland. And being a Grim Reaper, it'll drag you to hell. Flare Death. Just draconic fire, fantasy murder vibes. Tombstone, the wrestler, and also the marker atop one's grave. Blue terror is a terror that is blue. Odium means hate in Latin, and bloodshed embodies the shedding of blood. Unlike the other fighting monsters. Like Durahan, who's next? Lezina is a romanization of the mistranslation of the Japanese name Regina, meant to be Regina, meaning queen in Latin. What a trip. Vesuvius from Mount Vesuvius. Hercules the Greek hero, and the Hercules beetle. Kelmodix is a corruption of kinematics, the mathematics of motion, or how things move, but written down. It's moving rocks, unlike Golem, who's rocks that move. Lorica. A Lorica segmentata is a lightweight breastplate and three-pronged helmet used as a type of armor by Roman soldiers. Hound Knight is just that. Garuda. A Garuda is a mythical bird-like creature from Asia. Metal Glory is metal and glorious in battle. Genocider commits genocide, the systemic destruction of all or part of a racial, ethnic, religious, or national group. A mass murderer he be. How lovely. Wood Knight is a knight made of wood. Shogun is a shogun, a hereditary military officer in Japan during the early days of Japan. They wore similar armor to this. Ruby Knight is a knight with ruby red armor, and Kokushi Mosu was a Japanese film made in 1932 and remade in 1986. It's about a warrior trying to become the best fighter in the world. Uh, this monster was later renamed Warrior Z for copyright reasons. But that didn't stop them from straight up making centaurs. Farious is a combination of the words fairy and furious. Dragoon originally referred to any member of the British Mounted Infantry, but now has come to mean coercion by using violent measures or threats, or even simply a type of draconic monster. Trojan. It's a Trojan horse, a huge wooden horse supposedly constructed by the Greeks while they lay siege to the city of Troy. Chariot. A chariot is a two-wheeled horse-drawn vehicle used in ancient war warfare and racing. Antares is named after a red supergiant star in the Milky Way galaxy. It's the brightest star in the constellation Scorpio, the Scorpion. Celius is a mistranslation of the word Sirius, a brilliant star known as the Dog Star. Bazoo is a combination of both bad and zoo. Ha. Or it could be bizarre and a zoo. Both seem to work well with its looks. Reaper. It carries a scythe like the Grim Reaper, and it is a reference to death, one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Oh, and most jokers have that clown nose. Trotter trots. This is a term used when referring to show horses, and you get it from the album Thoroughbred. Blue Thunder is named for its color and its thunder and lightning abilities. And now we move on to the Jills. Pong Pong. Okay, fun fact time. Pong Pong was the name of a famous gorilla given to the United States as a present from China following President Richard Nixon's visit in 1972. What the heck? Pierre shares its name with Robert Pierre, as they are written the same in Katakana. This dude led the expedition that was the first to reach the North Pole. Wondar's name comes from wonder, because it is always wondering where it is. 
and what it is supposed to do. Bengal has Bengal tiger colorations. Zor Jill combines the Zo from Suezo and Jill. Skullcapped. A skullcap can be any number of form-fitting hats. Also, this one has a little skull zipper as well. Pithekin is short for the scientific name Pithecanthropus erectus, a caveman. Now, there is only one special phoenix. It is Cinderbird. A bird of cinders. Well, that was anticlimactic. Uh, hmm. Moving on, because there are a lot of zooms. Fairy Saurian is from fairy and Soros, which means lizard in Greek, like dinosaur, a Saurian. Salamander. A salamander is a Greek term meaning fire lizard. Rock Saurian, rock dinosaur. Crab Saurian, crab dinosaur. Hound Saurian, hound dinosaur. Jelly Saurian, jelly dinosaur. Wood Saurian, wood dinosaur. Aloha Saurian is a tropical themed dinosaur, and aloha is hello and goodbye in Hawaiian. Black Saurian, a black dinosaur. Shell Saurian, dinosaur with a shell. Naga Saurian, I'm getting tired of these, it's a Naga dinosaur. Zebra Saurian, a zebra striped dinosaur. Sand Saurian, a sandstone sandy dinosaur. Spot Saurian, spot is a common name for a dog and things with spots and it's a dinosaur hachiro oh finally not a saurian the name is based off of the famous japanese dog hachiko hmm. noble saurian gosh dang it it's a noble dinosaur tasman from the tasmanian devil mustardy named after its mustard coloration and basilisk the basilisk is a european legend with many myths surrounding it some of them are reptilian like others not so much now then the zillas guji comes from gujira the japanese name for zilla and unicorn, referencing its single narwhal horn. Pinkzilla is pink. Gigalon is a giga megalon. A megalon was a massive whale fish thing. Deluxe liner is based off of a huge ocean liner ship. A deluxe one, in fact. Though it looks more like a submarine to me. Uh, well now it's time for the metal nerds. Metazoral. The name Metazoral comes from the Japanese name Metazoru, which is probably meta from metal and zoral coming from sol or sun, which is the opposition of the luna in the base form. And Suezos love to add the sun and yellow coloring, though it also could just be Zo from Suezo mixed with Metalner. Love Seeker seeks love and affections because it's a pixie. And Chinwa? Uh, Chinwa is a French word for Chinese, and it looks to be made of fine china, like the dishware. Huh. Well, it is also a sieve with a fine mesh used to make custards and sauces, which you would put in a dish just like this. Uh, well, it's also super alien looking, which is fitting because you get it by using the Men in Black soundtrack. Now the beak lawns. Betelgeuse comes from Betelgeuse. It's the name of one of the brightest stars in the night sky. It's part of the constellation Orion. It shines bread, and its name is pronounced like Betelgeuse. Melkarba is a mistranslation of Merkaba, a Hebrew word that means thing to ride in, or cart. With its tank-like appearance, it's likely named after the Merkava battle tank. Rocklon. It's a combination of rock and beaklon. Centurion. A centurion was a general in the ancient Roman army. He was characterized by the large plume on his helmet. Sloth beetle. It's slow moving and hairy, like a sloth. Cout roar cout. Oh, this one was tricky. It's likely named after its Japanese name. Koto Rokoto, which could be Koto and Rokoto, Koto being coat in English. Uh, however, it can also mean many things, like matter or thing, and Ro can mean lower, so its name could mean thing, lower thing, or something that is lower than something else. In fact, there's another spelling of Koto meaning bow. Then again, if we look at its English name, Kaut could be from the topographic name of the Franconian dialect word Kaut, meaning hollow pit or den and then it's roar like the sound and then it's count again which i guess could mean that this thing lives in pits and has a roar and a den it's not a lot but we get that it's a lowly bug living in the desert it is soil type so it likes to dig and lastly, there is the term korokoro in Japanese, meaning small thing rolling or thing that rolls. And I know koto and koro are different, but they are also kind of similar. It could be a play on words here. Koto from bow and lowly and koro meaning rolly small thing. Maybe, maybe not. I wish all the names were like this instead of just purple. Uh, well, let's, let's get a simple one next. Ducklong, it's a duckin' and a beaklong. Nice, jaggernaut. It's a transliteration of the English word juggernaut, which means a massive force that crushes anything in its path. And Jaeger is the German word meaning to hunt or hunter. Egg plantern. 
It's an eggplant lantern, I guess. It's a reference to the eggplant cow, which is this thing in Japan. And hilariously, you get this by using the Austin Powers, the Spy Who Shagged Me soundtrack. So, you know, eggplant emoji. How crude. Just like the Katos. Draco Kato. Hmm. Blue Kato. Huh. Pink Kato. Yeah. Ninja Kato. It's, he's a ninja. Tainted Cat. Ah. Tainted in reference to its tainted morals. Citron y. It's the color Citron. A color that's basically yellow. Gordish. Oh, good. Another mistranslation. This time it's the word god ish or godlike. There's also the chance that it's a reference to Gordias, the father of the ancient Greek king Midas, who turned things to gold with his touch. Uh, well, we're doing hoppers now. Fairy hopper. It sort of looks like a fairy, I guess. The Japanese name is fun, though. Kinda hapu. Because it kinda hops, but it actually flies. Draco hopper. Skipper. Skipping is like hopping. Mustachios. They have little mustaches. Emerald eye has green emerald eyes. Springer, as springs are typically associated with hopping or boinging. Rear eyed has an eye on the back of its head. Snow hopper hops in the snow. Pink hopper. Sneak hopper is sneaky. Woody hopper is made of wood. And frog hopper is a frog. N maybe. Uh. You get it by scanning Gex 3, so that's fun. Now the Rackies, they are all dolls. So we have Pebbly Racky. A pebble is a small rock, so yeah, it's a doll, it's a small golem. Draco Doll, Dragon Doll, Hanger Doll, a Hanger Doll. Baby Doll, a baby doll is a child's toy representing a child, especially an infant, but this time it's a pixie. Maybe don't give this one to a kid. Petite Knight, Petite is a French and English word that means small, and it's a knight. Backy, but Jarl and Racky combined in name and form. Metal Glay, it's metal and gray mistranslated from the romanization of gray in reference to gray aliens. It's got a UFO head. Tricker tricks people into thinking it's cute. Maki mixes mock and Racky. Satan Claus. Satan Claus. It's Santa Claus and Satan because this doll is evil. Also, a lot of dyslexic kids send letters to Satan Claus every year. But Yarls? Yes, please. Jabba is pretty creepy. An assassin with a zipped up mouth? Well, the name just combines Joker and Bayarl, but it can also refer to speech or speaking in Hindi. Boxer Bayarl is a boxer. Though the monster Magic was removed in Monster Rancher 2, if you slate one over from Monster Rancher 1, you get this guy, Magic Bayarl. Ultraarl. That's just Ultraman as a genie. How strange. Just like the Cora Pandoras, Peach Tree Bug is named this because of its affinity for peach trees. And it's just so peachy, covered in hair. And it's a bug. Liquid Cube, because it's cubed liquid gel. Dice, looks like dice. Simple. And Tram, looks like it's a tram, which is a city train. Bakus. Magmax is named after Magma and possibly Max, a very common dog name. It is, it is a dog, right? Also, maybe Mad Max? <laughs> Does it look like that? Gigante is a Spanish word meaning gigantic. War Baku is ready for war. Icebergy is named after an iceberg because of its coloration. Gontor comes from Gon, a Japanese word meaning trustworthy or loyal like a dog. And R is from hair. Nussy was a tricky one. It turns out this is a mistranslation of its Japanese name, which is similarly a bit confusing. Nushi. But if we change how we say it ever so slightly, Nushi, it can now refer to a boss or master of animals and fish, or even a guardian spirit, or a long time resident, like an old guy. It works. Baku Clown is a clown of a Baku. Giga Pint is literally just a large pint. Giga meaning large and pint being a fluid measurement. Shishi is a Shishi, a Chinese guardian lion dog thing. It looks a lot better than all of the Gabus at least. Frozen Gabu, wouldn't you know it? He's frozen. Doku is the Japanese word for poison. Jelly Gabu is just Jelly Gabu and Gabu Soldier, what the heck? You get this guy by scanning Metal Gear Solid. That's hilarious. It's Solid Snake, but as a Gabu. So it's Liquid Snake. Now, there's only two Undines. Siren, who is a siren, a mythological creature of water, kind of like a mermaid, and Mermaid, another mythological creature of water, kind of like a siren. You get it by scanning the Little Mermaid soundtrack. Now, Nitens. Ammon, like Nighton, is also short for Ammonite. Night Nighton is a Night Nighton. Stripe Shell has just that. Alabian Nighton is a mistranslation of of Arabian Nighton, a reference to the Arabian Nights. I'm sorry. Metal Shell has a metal shell, and Clear Shell has a clear shell. Balm Kutchen 
Uh-huh. Well, it turns out a Baumkuchen is a German cake that looks like layers of inner tree bark. So, uh, this. Dribbler is moist, so it leaves dribblings. And also, you can dribble the ball in soccer. Look at this thing. Its existence is pain. Radial Knighton. Okay, remember Radial from before? It's not in Monster Rancher 2, so if you try to bring it over, you get this thing instead. It's a car face with a wheel shell, and it's disgusting. Disc Knighton. Same deal, but with disc. It's a disc stone depicting disc. Huh. Mox! Ebony is a very hard, dense, deep black wood from various subtropical and tropical trees, especially of the genus Diospyros. White birch is just a white birch tree. Well, you get it from the album Deep Forest 3, so, you know, trees, forest, haha. Uh, pole mock! Well, now it's a fake light pole with branches. Dukungs! Blockin! It's a duckin made out of building block toys. Tickin! <laughs> Ticking. Combines duckin' with tick, as in tick-tock, because it's a machine that goes tick-tock. Watermelony! Well, it's sort of watermelon-like, right? Well, it's a watermelon, but not entirely, so it's watermelon-y. Cockin'! Ka-ka is the sound that crows make, and the Japanese name of this guy is kakun, like a male pronoun that caws. And a cock is another word for a rooster. <clears throat> and now then, I can't say we've gone over all of the monsters unless we also cover the enemy-only monsters. The monsters you cannot have, but still exist in the game as opponents. Let's lightning round it! Magma Heart has a magma core, or heart. Sniper is a sniper. Sand Golem is just that. Wild Saurian is a wild dinosaur. Silver Face has a silver face. Kamui can both mean cold or spirit in Japanese. Bloody Eye has spooky bloody eyes. Crescent is cursed with dark magic from the moon, which sometimes is a crescent shape. Zilla King is the king of the Zillas. Possibly a King Kong versus Godzilla reference. Blue Phoenix? Take a guess. Big hand. It's got big hands. Mad Gabu. Grr, mad. Burning Wall is an on-fire wall. King Ape is a King Ape. It's King Kong. Punisher is big and mean and punishes you. White Swayzo is white and so is White Mochi. Ah, <sighs> finally, every monster in Monster Rancher 1 and 2 explained to some small degree. At least their names are, as if most of them needed an explanation. Which ones are your favorites? Which ones are cool? Which ones would be better off not existing at all? Let me know down below. Thank you so much for making it this far into the video, you beautiful person. And I'll see you again sometime. Toodaloo.